Hey. How is he? Better. The antibiotics are working. Oh, good. Wait, wait, wait. What? He's still angry. I wonder why. My husband can't even look me in the face or my son, and it's all your fault. I'm sorry, Amanda. No, you're not. That's a discussion for later. Right now, we got bigger things to worry about. Right here. He's my son. Right, and the fact that I'm his mother... It's the only reason you're not in jail right now. You and your beloved Jake. So instead of throwing empty threats in my face, maybe you should be getting on your knees and thanking me. I will never thank you for keeping me prisoner. Well, I'm sorry you see it that way. It's the only way to see it, Dave. I don't belong here. This is not my home. You are not my family. And I am done letting you play make-believe. I'll be back for our things. You have no rights to this child. Then take me to court. Six months. Are you on crack? I'm not gonna be here six more minutes, let alone six months. No, I mean me. I have six months. Oh my God, what are you talking about? That's how long I have left to live. Do you have any questions? Like I would even know where to start. I can't even pronounce this stuff. The drugs are from Malaysia. They're not legal in the U.S. Is that safe? <laughs> what are they going to do, kill me? I thought it wouldn't hurt to throw one last Hail Mary pass. So this medicine, can it cure you? No, no, but it could maximize the time I have left. So I, I don't understand. Why is this blood disease a death sentence? I mean, people recover from blood no, disorders. No, not from this one. It, it affects both the red and white blood cells. Red blood cells carry oxygen. White blood cells fight off infection. So basically, I'm in a race against time to see which kills me first. Uh, an infection that I can't ward off or my body slowly suffocating. Look, I'm sorry. I, I know this isn't pretty. But do you understand now? Do you see why I need you to stay? So please, all I'm asking for is these last few months. I want to spend them with my son. Oh, I have to go. I have to go. Now? I have to tell Jake. No, no, wait a minute. I told you that was bad enough. I don't I, want I, everyone to know it. Jake is leaving me, David, and I have to tell him what is going on because this, it changes everything. Sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to scare you. But you have nothing to worry about, all right? Your daddy is perfectly healthy. <laughs> and I'm not going anywhere. More important, neither is your mother.